Treatment of IRS. Ten years ago, I developed my own treatment strategy. It consists of uh, five uh, steps. I put it into practice, and I'm seeing some amazing results. And only for that reason, I wrote the book. So an average person out there can understand insulin resistance syndrome and can benefit from this strategy. I'll quickly go through that. Okay, I develop my own diet, and it, it's, it's not even a diet, it's lifestyle changing. Okay, that's the most important thing. And, and this has worked. I spend time myself with my patients, talking about their diet, talking about the principles of my diet, and I tailor my diet according to their requirements. Because some people are vegetarian, some are non-vegetarian, with all different ethnic backgrounds. Diet is definitely number one, the most important thing. So, uh, if you want to get this diet, it's in my book, it's on my website. Uh, here are some of these uh, salient features I'll go through. Watch your mental habits. So, eat when you're hungry. Don't eat for psychological reason, because you're mad or angry or sad. Uh, be aware what goes in your mouth. Keep a food diary. Very important. No more than three meals a day. Even for all diabetics, no more than three meals a day. Uh, reduce the size of your portion. Cut carbohydrates. Have more proteins. Increase vegetables, meats, and fish. Eat a lot of nuts. That's the best way to increase your HDL. And certain foods are really bad. You have to say no to them. And here they are. Oh, oh, come on! Come on. <laughs> 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 you listed everything that I like. <laughs> That's right. You have to God, I don't see chocolate Bam. up there. I don't see chocolate. Uh, that too. Some people like chocolate. Yes, that too. You're no fun at all. <laughs> okay, next one, please. <laughs> okay. Again, no sodas, even diet sodas, no, no power bar, no artificial foods. Okay. No buffets, no fast uh -huh. foods. And you need to get involved with your food. And it's not too late to start learning how to cook. I did. And again, when you're, when you're eating, please, please don't watch TV or don't be reading the magazine, okay? Mental distractions and eating, they don't mix. You end up eating a lot. Most people here, they know the benefit of exercise, right? But we still don't do it. What's the reason? <laughs> you like the concept of exercise rather than the exercise itself. Read about it. Okay, so, so please, start doing exercise today. Right today. I mean, no if and but, no conceptual uh, talking about it. Just do it. The night is... <laughs> Okay, any exercise, simple walking, 30 minutes, 30 minutes a day, wonderful. Okay, do that. Uh, anything, do exercise, uh, walking, swimming, uh, wonderful exercises. Uh, for diabetics, just a word of caution, uh, jogging or even uh, jogging on treadmill is not good because most diabetics, they develop uh, peripheral neuropathy, the nerves become very... Uh, susceptible to any injury, so their neuropathy can get worse, one. Two, again, diabetics who are a little more advanced, they develop a retinopathy, and again, any jarring exercise can worsen their eye disease, so be careful. But swimming is always good, walking is always good, yoga is wonderful. How about the elliptical? Uh, it's fine, elliptical is fine. Stress management, extremely important, okay? And this is my own approach. I divide stress into two, external stress and internal stress. External stress, we all know, those are stressful situations. Somebody is ill, somebody got in an accident, whatnot. Okay, next one. Uh, 
The other thing that uh, is even much more sinister is uh, internal stress that uh, most of us have it pretty much all the time. Even if on the surface uh, we are having successful life, we are having vacation, we are in uh, Hawaii, you know, but our mind is busy. It's that busy mind, ever busy mind, uh, that uh, keeps that internal stress. Uh, I love this wonderful phrase. Uh, Wherever you go, there you are. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Okay. What does this busy mind do? This busy mind will always keep you either in the past or in the future, skillfully bypassing the reality of the present moment. Be here now. Now, logically speaking, past is dead, gone. Future never arrives. Right? So, logically speaking, you should live in the now. But uh, we could say that we are all illogical. Because we live in the past and we live in the future. <coughs> that is what this busy mind is very illogical. Okay, here's an example. You are on the freeway. Your busy mind is thinking. You are going to work. He's thinking about the argument you had with your wife. You can't buy the mortgage and she's buying $200 shoe like money grows on trees. And the next moment you are thinking about your next doctor appointment. Maybe you'll tell me I have cancer, then I'll probably die a miserable death in a year, nauseated all the time like Uncle Bob did from chemotherapy. Or, uh, like physically you're on the freeway, but mentally you're far away, far, far away. So, please remember this. Keep your mind where your body is. When lost in thoughts, ask two questions. Is it happening now, at this very moment? Almost always the answer will be no. Next question, what is happening right now at this moment? Vitamins uh, play an extremely important role in treating insulin resistance syndrome, which unfortunately traditional medicine uh, has not looked into. Uh, but I did, I looked at all the research which was done on vitamins. And this is what I found, and of course there are a lot of claims too, so I, I looked at all these studies and here is what I found. These vitamins do help with your insulin resistance. Vitamin D, alpha lipoic acid, chromium picolinate, fenugreek, nopal, cinnamon, coq10, and magnesium. Okay, so I put all these uh, vitamins together and I created this called Glucide Multi. Anyone interested, you can go up on a website called Online Medicine Marine Point and get it. Only two medications. One is lactose, the other is metformin. Both of these, they treat insulin resistance. Both of them do not have any serious side effects. Uh, in most of the patients, but any medicine does have potential side effects and you have to watch out for that. Same case study we started with, I'm going to go through that quickly. These were his numbers, he was on insulin, prokarya, vasopex, zocor, a long list of medications. Next one. Okay, these were his uh, blood pressure was still high, while on blood pressure medication, he was obese. These are his number. Look at his fasting blood sugar: 169, A1C, 11.2, extremely high. Triglyceride: 962, extremely Ooh. high. Look at HDL: 22. Okay, next one. Okay, of course he had insulin resistance syndrome. Next one. So, put him on my five-step treatment approach. Gradually, I stopped his insulin. Uh, over a period of time, his uh, diabetes got better, HDL cholesterol got better, triglycerides came down. And here's the thing, at 40 months, his uh, cardiologist decided to do an angiogram. He called me from the uh, OR and he told me, Sir Fraz, what are you doing? I said, what? He said, Mr. So-and-so, I was expecting him to have worsening of his coronary artery disease. Actually, it got improved. That cardiologist came to see me in the very next day. Great. <laughs> <laughs> are we able to book him now? <laughs> so, so guys, if you want to know more about it, this